is the Taz Show. But, uh, anyway, so my story's about Taz, folks. This is what you got to hear for all the times he calls me a bad travel partner. All right, so uh, Taz and I uh, take a red eye. Yes. And we're trying to get out of town after calling the uh, the rebirth of ECW. Well, Joe, and, let's be honest. I did. I never was looking to rush out of town. Neither were you after a show. Oh, my God. I mean, we used to go on first before <laughs> SmackDown. And before the pyro went off for SmackDown, we were sneaking out of the arena like two ninjas. Yes. Like, just like, like you know, we would, we would park at the very end it's illegally. True. Yeah. And we would, you know, and so don't, none of the stooges would see us and, and uh, tell on us. We would drive <laughs> off like a block with the lights off. It was ridiculous. It's you would so think true. we robbed the joint. You would it's, think we robbed the joint. That is such a shoot right there. Yep. Uh, so continue then, you know, we, we, we go to the airport. I don't care if I fly in a suit, whatever. Taz can't fly in a suit. He goes and changes in the bathroom like at the reverse Superman, comes out in <laughs> shorts and flip flops <laughs> and a t shirt, and, he, and he's storming through. And, you know, an, an orange T-shirt, and he's storming through the airport looking like the thing from the Fantastic Four. And God forbid anyone's not looking, because they should be looking up instead of talking to somebody or you're looking at their phone. You're going to run them over. Yes. So you almost run over this, this, this beautiful older woman and who looks to be her lackey or assistant, and I stop you. And, uh, and you're still marching. You don't care. And I go, my God, do you know who you almost ran over? And you're like, who? I go, that was Jane Seymour, and without missing a beat, you go F. Doctor Quint. <laughs> so that happened in the, in the Chicago airport. Okay. I remember that actually. Yes, yep. yes, yep. yep. Um, I know it was the L.A. airport. I think she was LA. coming from Chicago because she was doing she had done Dance with the Stars or something. What else? And then LA? there was a, yeah, yeah. there was another time we're taking a red eye. He's Jet Blue, and you you meet all the nice people, all the nice upper class people on the red eye for Jet Blue. That's oh yeah, all the, L.A. to New York. <laughs> The Bro. midnight flight, Jet Blue. Oh. That's where you meet. It, it's like a freak show. That's where it's, that's what has is the most normal looking guy on the planet. It's the high rent district, bro. It definitely is. Holy yeah. moly! <laughs> anyway, so there goes Jet Blue sponsoring your show. Oh yeah, that's so, done. Yeah. So Taz has this thing, Captain, where he's got to be the first person on the plane. Like he sits there and he's just like, he, I mean, he's as wide <laughs> as the friggin' door. So he's got to be the first guy on the door. He's just sitting there. I went, so, this is, what he's saying is the absolute truth. I believe I, it. Yeah. I'm hung up yeah. on getting on the plane first. I have to get yeah. on first. Yep. I, I don't know why. I mean, even like there's no one on these red eye flights. Whatever, you got to be first. So they, they wheel up this woman in a wheelchair. She's so small. She looks like a Muppet. She looks like a special effect, right? Like, you know, like her feet don't even touch the floor. They're, they're barely making it over the side of the wheelchair. Right? I have a couch at home that that happens to me. Yeah. Well, uh, Easy there, giant man. Slow down nice. before you come up with a joke. Go ahead, continue. No, I'm not going to do short jokes. <laughs> People on glass step stools and all that. There you go. So, uh, That's exactly right. <laughs> so Taz is getting ready to get on this plane. They wheel up this old woman who mentions that she's like 95, right? And Taz is just fuming. Like He's mad that this poor old woman in a wheelchair is going to be on the plane first. They open the door to the jetway. Taz walks up to the wheelchair as it's rolling down. Does a spin move, goes around the wheelchair, <laughs> walks in front of it to get on first. Now, I'm with them, so everyone's looking at me. It was so embarrassing. These are true stories, but yet he'll tell you what a bad wheel man I am. Because I'm driving around a ticking time bomb. 